Hi, this is Rajeshwari from Rivora Two, and today I'm going to cover the topic Make or Buy Decision Applying Marginal Analysis. We all know that 25% weightage is given to the topic CBT Analysis and Marginal Analysis in your CMA US exams. That means around 125 to 500. That itself shows how important these are. So we have to practice all the questions, all the different kinds of questions related to these two topics very well so that we can master them. Even though the questions appear simple, but then when we start really solving them, you know, we do get stuck here and there. So let's learn all the concepts very well. And this particular video is related to make or buy decisions. Over to the video now. Whenever we come across a situation where we have to decide whether we should make a product in-house or whether we should buy it from outside, that is outsource it, there are certain factors, very important factors, which we have to consider. The first being, we have to see whether idle capacity is available or not. Idle capacity also means unutilized capacity. Total relevant cost of production should be less than the cost of buy. In case it is less than the cost to buy, then we make it in-house because otherwise there's no profitability. The total co relevant cost of production, if it is greater than the cost to buy, we should outsource it. Now, relevant and irrelevant cost has already been discussed in my previous video for which the link I have already given in the description box. In case you need it, you can go through it. Now, relevant cost, what does it consist of? It consists of all the variable costs, plus any avoidable fixed cost related to the investment decision. Certain other important factors that have to be considered. Efficient use of available resources to be done before outsourcing. Then only cost relevant to the decision to be considered, which we have already covered. Opportunity cost to be considered when no idle capacity is available sunk costs and costs that do not differ that is irrelevant costs they should not be considered certain qualitative factors which we have to keep in mind while making make or buy decisions quality of the outsourced product and reliability of supplies these are two are very important because if, if there is a damage or any delay in the delivery of the product Definitely, it's our image that is going to be tarnished and not the suppliers. The long-term outlook regarding purchasing or producing the product and chances of reversing the decision. Morale of the workforce, very important because in case you're outsourcing the product, what happens is the workforce related to that product, they might have to be retrenched from the work or, you know, it might affect their morale in some or the other way. So that should be taken into consideration because they form the foundation of the organization. Effect of the decision on the reputation of the entity. So few of the qualitative factors which we should keep in mind while making or while taking a decision on make or buy situations. Now let's take an example and do this quest, uh, scenario, make or buy that will make this concept much clearer to all of you. Let's say ABC company manufactures spare parts for its automobile section in-house. In-house means it's doing it in its own factory. The cost to manufacture one unit is as follows. Direct material, direct labor, applied fact, uh, variable factory overhead, all these are variable expenses, right? That is given. Then applied fixed factory overhead, this much, and the total cost of producing one unit after taking into consideration all the variable and the fixed cost is $1.34 per unit. Now, as a part of diversifying its activities, the company has to decide whether to continue producing the unit in-house or to outsource it. The supplier, who's a reliable one, has offered to supply the unit to ABC company for $1.23 per unit. Also, 25% of the applied fixed factory overhead will be saved if the unit is outsourced. Now, the question is, should the company outsource it or not? Now, a very easy tip that you can keep in mind 
Definitely, if you keep this tip in mind, you'll be able to crack all the questions on make or buy situations. Just think what costs you will avoid if you buy from an outside supply, supplier and you should keep opportunity costs also in mind. It's a very simple tip. Just remember all the costs that you will avoid if you buy from an outside supplier. I have found it very easy to do questions on make or buy when I followed this simple tip. And you concentrate on avoidable manufacturing cost and avoidable fixed cost. Now let's see the solution to this question. Here the purchase price, it's $1.23 if you're buying it from an outside supplier. Now the cost to produce this unit in-house, that is in your own factory, it is direct material 10, direct labor 6, variable overhead 8. Now in case you're buying it from outside, all this variable cost, it will be avoided. Relevant fixed overhead, which is actually $1.10. Now, in this case, 25% of that will be saved if you're outsourcing it. That means 25% of $1.10, which is equal to 25 by 100 into $1.10, which is 2.5. That means all these costs you will save if you are outsourcing the product from a supplier. That means the total cost is 26.5 if you make it in-house and if you buy from the supplier, it is just $1.23. What does that mean? Isn't it better to outsource the product? Because the total relevant cost of production is greater than the cost to buy from the supplier, we should outsource it. In case the supplier was offering it at $28, definitely we'll make it in-house. Right, because the cost of production is 26.5. There's no point in buying it from a supplier for 28, right? So this is how you'll get questions on make or buy. So the simple tip which I told you, please keep in mind, you're going to master this topic. Stay safe and stay happy. See you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.